Hi, I'm Dr. Ed Jacobs, founder of Impact Therapy, and we're, I'm here with Dr. Chris Schimmel, and we're going to talk about the theories that are connected to Impact Therapy. Impact Therapy is actually an approach to counseling that is very strongly theory-driven, and we've used about four or five different main theories, and we're going to just discuss those. The first one is the trans-theoretical model, which is, I'll say a little bit about this, and then I'll get Chris to say stuff. The trans-theoretical model is something that, that it, it, it's the stages of change, and you can Google that term if you don't, aren't familiar with that, just Google stages of change. Whenever we're doing counseling, we're always aware of what stage of change the client's in. And then we'll, we'll talk about these very briefly, and, and just so that you know. But I would say, wouldn't you say that we're always thinking? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And one of the challenges, and where this becomes so helpful, is one of the challenges for school counselors especially is um, teachers and principals will often send a student to you uh, who's been in trouble or, you know, disobeyed some school rule, and they say, well, go to the counselor and get help for your behavior, when actually that student is not really in the frame of mind or even not realizing that they have a behavior that needs changed. So they're really in what we call pre-contemplation. And so just knowing that and being able to work with a student, knowing that they're not quite open or receptive yet to receiving help is, is very helpful in my mind. Well, even what you're saying, and I think when you have mandatory clients, you think, are they in pre-contemplation or contemplation? Most of them are in that. Some clients come to you, though, they're ready to get something done, and they're in preparation or action. But it's always important that you, as a counselor, be aware of what stage of change or is the person in. And I think because impact therapy is a more active approach to counseling, the stages of change model, I think, is, is just essential. Oh, absolutely. Essential. I think what you said is correct. I'm never not thinking it. I'm never not thinking where is this client in relation to their level of, of or stage of change. And the, the, the other theory, the, the, the other theories, transactional analysis, REBT, reality therapy, gestalt therapy, and Adlerian. And, and just briefly... How do you see where REBT fits into impact therapy? Well, it's kind of funny that you ask that because I always say I think there should just be one theory, REBTA, because REBT really focuses on helping the client understand their self-talk and to think rationally. And transactional analysis has this concept, contains this concept of being in one's adult or thinking. And my, I always say to you, I think, how do you think rationally if you're not in your adult, and how can you be in your adult if you're not thinking rationally? So those two theories, and they're so technique, rich in technique in terms of impact therapy, what you can write or draw or multi-sensory technique. So those two theories, I think, are at the real heart of the impact therapy approach. Yeah, yeah I would agree that, and we're going to do some clips on TA and REBT, other theories, gestalt therapy is involved where a lot of people have studied gestalt therapy and the use of the empty chair. Well, we expand that. We use a lot of different chairs, such as even this small chair that we, we sometimes will use. And we'll, we're going to do a, some clips use of the small chair. So gestalt therapy, the idea of the empty chair, I think, is, is a crucial part I mean, mm -hmm. because we mm -hmm. use chairs a lot. A, a lot. A, a lot. Yeah, I use an, a chair to represent something in almost every session I do. Right, and then the reality therapy, we had a, we have a clip on YouTube using the WDEP that comes out of reality therapy. The basic needs of reality therapy are good. And all of these are good because you can write stuff on the board. Impact therapy is a multi-sensory approach to counseling. And then Adlerian... At Lyrian, I, I use a lot just trying to understand the client's private logic or their mistaken goals. But I tell you where I use Ad Lyrian really the most is when we're talking with parents. Oh, yeah. And, and using an Ad Lyrian parenting model and helping parents understand their child's behavior or their child's misbehavior. And then how, you know, strategies with how to correct misbehavior. What we would say is you cannot be 
a real good therapist unless you're theory driven. And we don't want to mistake impact therapy. It's an approach that is that's built on other theories and a number of theories. And we encourage you to go to watch the other YouTube clips or go to impacttherapy.com and you can get more information about impact therapy.